there's an achievement to um, play the game as Argo, the first guy, and win the game on normal within 45 minutes. Which seems like a terrible struggle to me. Uh, you have to be moving very fast. I like to take my time with these things. Oh, I don't like these guys. They just charge you, and they have a lot of health. Ugh. Luckily, my wand is uh, is doing a good job against them. Take them out in about five hits. Um... Yeah, I think if, if I if I manage to complete a run, if I win against the boss, whoa, that was close, then uh, it takes me about an hour and a half at the moment. Because I'm just taking my time with things. I'm going a little bit faster in this run because, you know, I'm on camera and stuff. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep things moving. Here is the boss room. I don't have the key for it yet. Um... All can tell from the room beforehand which boss it's going to be. We're on floor two. I'm not entirely sure who that is. Might be Poloco. I'm going to guess Poloco. If it's Poloco, then I win. <laughs> um, let's go in here. Yeah, so, um, yeah, win winning with Argo in 45 minutes. But I take a lot longer than that, so um, that's a definite thing. All on the other hand, he has. Whoa, these guys are annoying. Let's do that. All has. Do that. Ah! Won the game as almost every character on normal. Uh, he hasn't done the completing it in 45 minutes yet. That's uh, one that he's working on at the moment. But he's been playing this game a lot, a lot more than I have, and he's uh, he's getting very good at it. So I'll be uh, looking forward to learning some tips and tricks from him. Bah! Oh, these guys. In fact, I, I, I hate both of these people for the same reason. I mean, they both have low health, but their shots are annoyingly accurate and fast. Whereas, um, I think these wraiths, or no, banshees I think they're called, um, they fire at where you were, whereas the kobolds fire at where you're going to be. But that just makes it even more dangerous when they're in a room together. Because you got you got people firing at where you were and where you were, you are going to be. So it's like you have to stand in the middle to not get hit. Ow. Ugh. Alright, I've already found the secret room, haven't I? Yep, so I've just got to go and get the key. And then I can move on to the next place. But I've got to admit, I am I'm completely addicted to this game. I've been playing it so much over the last couple of days. Last couple of days, last few days, last week or so. And I just love it. And, um, good. We can make our way to the boss now, but we might as well finish with the room to get more experience. Oh, hello. Treasure room. <clears throat> and again, I'm being attacked. But it's good because it gives us experience by killing these guys. Um... What was I saying now? Yeah, the game. I, I really love this game. I think it just has a really beautiful art style. It's kind of, I'm trying to think of what I would call it. It's just it's this kind of magic feeling that you'd get in an, kind of an old storybook or something. Um, and it, it really brings you into a kind of a fantasy world. It just looks amazing. Um, like... It doesn't go for realism. It it, it just it. I don't know. It it is the, the ma it, it just brings about this kind of magical feel of the world, um, and it's being updated all the time. So there's always something to look forward to. More. I mean, that's what it really needs. Is 
more items, more enemies to come across, just uh, more ways that you can customize your build and stuff like that. Let's try and focus this guy down. Let's see if it's Poloco and see if I'm right. Poloco! I did it! Alright. Focus him down! Ouch. Okay, and now I'll switch to this. Oh, the carrots. Too many carrots. Ow. But he always drops lots of health, so I think you're kind of... The idea is you take damage in this battle. Um, and usually they drop enough health for you to get back up to full again. Oh, I wish it would stop giving me these two things. Like, potions are already, already giving me lots of health, so I'll go for mana again. But I definitely need it to be giving me something better. Of course, I'm earlier on in the game at the moment. Um, I've only played a couple of runs so far. This is my third run, I think, actually. In um, It is my third run in the history of, of the series. So, I haven't unlocked many perks, different perks that I can get, or weapons, or things like that. So, I'm, I'm, I'm playing pretty standard. Now, this is the Serpent Staff. Um, whereas the Eye of Twilight is good at focusing things down very fast, this one poisons things. So it doesn't do as much damage, I don't think. But um, it will do damage over time, which is kind of nice, so you can hit things, run around, and just let them take damage. I'm not entirely sure which one I want. I might stick with the Serpent Staff for now, because I've already got this, which can focus things down pretty quickly. Yeah, why not? Let's go. So, oh, oh no, it's the flying ones. They leave stuff everywhere. I hate it when they leave stuff everywhere. Oh, hold your breath. I just realized the attack modifier. No, yeah, uh, combat modifier. Um, it's making me jump. You see me jumping? That's because I've got hiccups. <laughs> I, I just love that when, it, when when you jump, you make this noise. And so it actually sounds like the person has hiccups when they jump. Uh, that's a really clever one, I like that. See, they've got a nice sense of humor as well. This, this game has a lot going for it. It kind of... It kind of makes me think of um, the like old Disney magic and stuff. That kind of magic feel about it. Um, although I guess it's kind of like dark in a way. Not that the old Disney, um, Disney magic things weren't dark. I mean, some Disney things are just creepy as hell. <laughs> um, I seem to remember, what was it? Fantasia, isn't it? And that one's meant to be like really, really creepy. I, I haven't seen things like that in a long, long time. Um, ah, here's the bigger versions of the skeletons I was telling you about, the ones that throw three. Which are a little bit more annoying. Oh no, they're filling. The, it's going to fill the room with uh, the skeletons and the the imps, which also fire three things. Just turning turns the room into a complete bullet hell. Uh, take the guys out as fast as I can. Ouch! Luckily, I mean, if this was on floor five, then the room would actually be chock a box full full of these uh, these guys throwing stuff at me. That is useful if I'm down on low health, um, which I'm not, so mana gems give you more magic energy. I will take that. Again, I'm barely... See, my mana is already full. It is completely stacked up, because I'm just not using it as much, because I keep... I'm, I'm using my wand. Aha! Aha! <laughs> wow, I did a double take on that. Okay, secret room found. Wrecking Ball. That is a nice one. It means if you if you watch my health down the lower left-hand corner, anytime I knock over these things... Oh, ah. Uh, Avatar Panic. Pang! Clone released on 2011. Like the original, the game was fun, but games were too long. 50 levels. A commercial flop. Probably due to something. Those, uh... <laughs> those things... 
um, don't last long enough if you're trying to read them through, but they last too long if you just want to get rid of them. Because as far as I know, there isn't a button you can press that just gets rid of them, so you can carry on playing. So especially if you've already seen them, then they just... they hog the screen for a while. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's make our way over here. Actually, this is going to lead off in many different directions, so let's quickly go back to the spawn room. And check out what is down this way, because it's probably just going to be a dead end. But it certainly leads somewhere. Oh, these guys. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, these are actually... What are these guys called? They're something fun guys, because they're... They're mushrooms. Ah, okay. Because they're such fun guys. Ah. <laughs> I've been working on my fake laugh. Ah. Ah, please don't do that. Red guy. A red champion, I think, does more damage. There are three types. The red one does more damage. Ah. The blue one has more health, and the green one moves and sh shoots faster. Let's, um... Oh, no one there. Oh, let's try out the poison. Yes, let's try out the poison. So I can just hit them and leave them. Whoa! There. See, and that took care of them really nicely. So that is a very powerful weapon. It just it means that instead of focusing them down, you've got to hit and run. Oh, the shrine room. You never know what you're going to get. It could be a punishment. But I'm going to take them anyway to try and improve this run. I always go for the health one first. Map reveal for this floor. That's handy. I always go for the health one first, because I've just donated some health. But with the other two, I might get, like, full health or something. Which would be nice, and then I've already taken this one. So if I did it in a different order, I could get full health when I already had full health, and then donate health, which wouldn't be as good. Mana pool size increased. Does that go for... It does go for, yes! It goes for my, um, my wand as well. That's fantastic. Infinite mana until hit. Okay. In that case, we are going to be using probably Wraith Rings. We are going to be using... Well, let's just switch between these full stop. Non-stop, rather. <laughs> I'm just going to switch between these. Between these. All right, let's get some health back. This, this perk is uh, really cool. I can just carry on firing at things until I get hit. So... It could mean that for the rest of the floor or so, I can get tons and tons of um, kills using like a, a, an alchemy weapon, which always takes up a whole load of um, mana, uh, without taking up any mana, so that is awesome. But uh, it all depends on whether or not you get hit. Let's have a look at the map now, see where everything is. Right, let's not get hit by these things. That would just be an awful waste. So I'm going to play this pretty carefully. Right, Wraith Rings, let's go. Nothing appears next to me. And Wraith Rings, the best thing is that they are guided. So, oh no... I can fire at a distance, try and stay safe. Damn it! <laughs> uh, it would be against these birds. Birds that have guided shots. Which, um... Which have a, a splash... Splash damage as well. So they're pretty awful. One of my most hated enemies. And if you get too close to them, they start, like, spewing a, a flamethrower at you. They are just... They are horrible. Really bad. Anyway, that was a, a really... Poor... That's a real shame. Ah, these guys, take them out quickly. You've got to focus these guys down because they will carry on spawning carrots. And just generally doing nasty things. Kill them. Uh, increase your max and current health. 
But reduce the size of a mana pool is that is interesting. I could do with more health. We did just get the more mana. So we could convert that into just having a health up. I kind of feel like I want to do that. Yeah, let's do it. We have now 163 health, which is pretty cool. That got, what, that was about 40 health we got there, wasn't it? I think we had 120 or so before. So that's pretty nice. Just run through that. All right, what we got? These things. These things are nasty. They die pretty quickly, compared, well, considering that they are rather large, but they spawn these things that chase you afterwards. And avoiding their shots can be a bit of a pain. And these guys explode when you kill them, and probably when you when they get up to you. I think they just they're like petards. They run up to you and explode. So this thing where I can see through the landscape of them, it might only be when there's a, a few left or something, but it just shows you where they are if they're hiding. Um, must I think that is a a thing that came in with an update. Um, so I don't remember having that before. So that's pretty cool. Let's um, poison that guy. So now I can get away in time to take out those guys. Nice. Alright, just checking again. We have found the secret room. Um, I feel like we're in good shape to tackle the boss right now. Whoa, that was close. Ah, I think this is Regulus, which is one of those big birds that I was just talking about hating. <laughs> so we're going to try and focus him down with the alchemy again. It is, in fact, Regulus. I think Regulus chases after you, which is kind of useful as well if you're trying to focus him down. Okay, and now we're going to change Owl. Ah. God, that is difficult to avoid. But I, I generally find in the, the boss rooms that you're kind of meant to take a little bit of damage. Like, there is no avoiding it sometimes. Please just kill this guy. Wow. There we go. Oh, give me that health. Thank you. And it's back up to full health again. And with even some health points remaining. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's get the upgrade. Uh, these two again... Let's go for that, so we get m the uh, the perk option more often. Really not too interested in that uh, extra health per potion. I mean, it is a useful one. It is a useful one. I'm just not too interested in the moment, because I already have that perk that gives me higher um, health from potions. So, I'd much rather be getting something yeah, nice, something extra. Something just handy that I would like to have. Okay, room full of carrots. Now we've got the big things as well. Well, that's just happy, isn't it? Uh, let's poison them. Nah, and then avoid their fire for a little while. And we get more carrots. whoop de doo <laughs> Not actually what I meant to do. I'm just switching between my weapons. I shall kill him with all my different weapons. There we go. Alright, let's get out of this crazy place. Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh, I was pushing my luck then. And through we go. Okay, so what is this? On to floor... Three? What was that, floor three? Who have I faced so far? No, I, I think that was floor three. So I'm on to floor four. 